All right. So my name is Brian. I'm Sean from uh, LAH Nitro. And we are about to watch Veteran Militia versus Freight Train. Mm -hmm. Freight Train is going to be on our left. Veteran Militia is going to be on our right. And uh, this is going to be the second broadcasted Red Zone game of today. Uh, you can go good games. Really good John. games. Wait. Great games. Ask somebody else. Before I tell you. Hey, Diaz. Hey, Diaz. What would you think of that last Red Zone game? <laughs> you know what? Um, the guy will not stop dancing. I think after, <laughs> after that first Gosh, game that they had, <laughs> uh, they came out with a better shoulder, uh, head on their shoulders with figuring out how to play the game. Yeah. You know, they, they actually let people live a little longer than... Then the first one, I think they had what, like eight concessions before <laughs> actually pushing a button. But yeah, you know, they're, so they're kind of egging people on. Yeah, changing yeah. up their strategy just to <laughs> get as many points out of the, each match as they can. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's another thing. You want to be aggressive in red zone, but also letting people live and giving them a chance to get that penalty concession gives you three points. So right. that's it's, it's strategy. Yep. All right, freight train with five guns up off the break. Veteran militia got. Two in the center, one at the cake, one in the tower. Freight train losing two bodies, three bodies. Uh oh. Freight train, or uh, vet oh, and there's a cons oh, nope. Right before he pressed the button. Close. So, uh, veteran militia going up one point over freight train. Freight train, freight train coach really got on top so of that one. Veteran yeah, he was militia. Like, <laughs> he was not going to play around. Freight, freight train concedes. Nope. <laughs> so veteran militia. The score is freight train zero. Veteran militia one. Big shout out to John down here in this little uh, cabin. Enjoying his uh, his shade while everybody else gets to bake. Get out of here. He's doing work just like anybody else. But yeah. <laughs> Any other sponsors you'd like to call out for? LA Hitman. LA yeah, Hitman, yes. We have uh, the organization has Pops Tacos. You know, really, really good tacos. Are they world famous? I would think so, yeah. I mean it tastes world famous. I would agree. Yeah. You know, they, they have uh oh, LA Hitman Academy. If you guys ever get a chance, go up there. Are you guys doing tactical this year? I don't know. It'll be nice. Really good academy. I'm trying to get down there as soon as I can. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Freight train on our left, veteran militia on our right. Five guns up off the break for veteran militia. Five oh. guns up for freight train. Militia Lots. losing two players off the break. Freight train coming up the center of the field looking for the buzzer. Andrew giving out those calls. Both teams kind of stalemated. Freight train looking to bump up the middle of the field. Utilizing that uh, dual 50 bunker. Dorito side gets shot out. That was, that was pretty. And that's a concession. That looks like it's going to be a penalty concession, I think. Uh, that was a pretty move. The three guys bumped at the same time. Maybe not. Maybe it's only one point. So veteran militia concedes. Who's coaching yeah. veteran? Is it uh, Pineapple? Yeah. Uh, Kaylee? Yep. Pineapple is pineapple. coaching the veteran militia. Um, and then uh, I don't know who's coaching freight train. I think Andrew, uh, Andrew the bear. The D side camera. The bear. Uh, yeah, the D side camera is actually uh, coaching the freight train. So that's pretty sweet. We got drones in the air. Getting the footage of the field. Gary, Gary's out here. Yep. TV photography. Yeah, we got a. Uh, a lot of busy stuff going on down on the field. Ten seconds. Uh, for a second, it was kind of awkward just looking around. <laughs> hmm. All right, so it's one to one. Plenty of time left. Five guns up off the break for both teams. Pretty similar breakout. A little more conservative from Freight Train. Freight Train getting all the way up to the 40 off break. Ref getting in to check Freight Train. If he's got a hit, that's going to oh, be a major a, penalty. People, ref, ref uh, is a bunker insurance guy. He took about three hits for him. <laughs> ref getting out of there. But he was clean, so there's no major. Freight Train all the way up. Doing the same thing Aftermath was doing. Kind of leaving the bodies alive in position to score on the buzzer. Yeah, they and get ready for they the get session. the buzzer. That's time. Let's see yep, what the ref says good. about uh, what will count on that. It looks like they got the buzzer before the time was called. Yes, they did. We'll find it from our announcer. Another LA Hitman. 
Richard Hernandez. Yeah. So four points were scored by Freight Train on that one. Go. What was that again? Oh, I'll say another hitman uh, doing the announcements. Richard doing a great job. Two, three sentences, and you got to put it down. Yep. No, he's doing a great job, especially uh, first event in. Right. He's doing awesome. But it is four to one freight train over veteran militia. Have you ever played Red Zone? I have not yet. But you're okay. I want to. I, I played it. Uh, I think it was two years ago when you guys were doing, uh, or when the league was doing, like uh, test runs. I guess it was like an AFPL scrim day. Mm -hmm. And long story short, John called us out, and we played. Awesome. First, first two points, horrible. We didn't understand the game at all. But that's then the thing we about like, red zone, though. Right. You only lose two points. You can come back, completely change your strategy. Yeah, that, that's what was good about it. Because then we were like, oh, oh, we just have to touch a button, not not shoot everybody. Yep. No, okay. Then we won that game six to four. Awesome. Yeah. But that's the thing about red zone. I mean, it, it takes a little bit to get used to, but once you get in the rhythm, yeah, it's definitely a new type of table. Yeah. It's not regular. Uh, shoot your gun at everybody run down field it's more you know a little more strategic uh, move knowing where people are going to shoot not going to shoot like red zone i think a lot more people are making out to the corner Dorito side corner than uh, the five and five now. yep maybe the guns are somewhere else maybe it's they don't see it as a maybe better of a spot because it's not closer to the buzzer but yeah. every bunker has its advantage and, and disadvantage trying to hold right. down the field and do specific things so right it's just a different way to look at the game and a different way to uh, utilize your paintball knowledge mm -hmm. and skill. Yep. And you guys are you guys are having red zone all over the uh, the world now, right? Uh, we're gonna have it in uh, North Carolina mm -hmm. um, on June 11th, but we do have it being played in England. We have it being played in Asia. Um, yeah, we're we're playing everywhere. Is John gonna send you out there? Hook it up. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to Panama, maybe. Oh, okay. We'll see. Yeah, good luck. It's I looking hope so. good. Yeah. I want to be there. Hopefully, I'll get to play a little bit too. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Oh, oh no! Oh no! You are a lying liar that lies, <laughs> madam. But all right, we got uh, freight train four, veteran militia one, mm -hmm. and here they go. Four guns up for freight train. Five guns Ooh. up for veterans. Veterans lose one body off the break. Ver freight train guy, lose their snake up. corner. Freight train moving up. Get to that kick. Veteran Militia holding basically down the middle of the field. Ref is telling the player to get out. Lucky there wasn't a penalty no called penalty, right there. Yeah. Uh, veterans dropping two bodies. Looks like it's two on two. Oh, there's a buzzer for uh, oh, veterans, go. but the player steps out of bounds, so he's done. Superman. Uh, with the red zone buzzer, all of uh, Veteran all Militia's team guys. comes back in, so that's the benefit of hitting the red zone buzzer. Your team can come back in. So now it's two against four. So literally, these games could go on for a while. Uh, they could as go on as for both a teams are long time. Making and the shots and moves. Shots, moves, and hitting the buzzer. If they hit the buzzer, your team can come back in. Yep. Reinforcements. Freight train is at the 50 Dorito, or his Dorito 3. Uh, Snake Corner is moving up follow, to Snake One. Follow, now he's at follow. the Aztec Tower. He's going for buzzer. He gets oh, it. He got it. He's still alive. And then a concession. To, to concede, concession. is only one body needs to be alive in order for you to concede, or is it two? I believe it's one. I believe one. it's one, right? But uh, that's going to be... Yeah, Freight Train 7 to Veteran Militia 3. Interesting. Could have swore Veteran yeah. Militia had two bodies left alive. I could be wrong, Oh, so though. that's three points. Yeah. So could Veteran Militia had too many people, so that's actually going to be 9 to 3. So Freight Train... Right. Let's hear from the announcers. They know what they're doing. Oh. Oh, jeez. So the score is nine to three. Pineapple's a little sour. At herself, man. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> what, what, so I was right. It's nine to three. Yeah. What's What's actually not going good for veteran militia is that they're not putting themselves in the position to hit the buzzer. It seems like they 
Either it's a little too sloppy getting out, but I don't know. I'm not an expert. No, that that sounds right to me. I mean, there there's definitely a strategy of where to go. Um, you know, like where works, where it doesn't work, what you should be looking for. Uh, veteran militia going, getting air. Um, freight train looking people, basically ready. Yeah, ha- having to go fill up air. Yeah. Well, especially in games like this where it's, you know, you're shooting so much paint, you're, uh, their time is so limited, everything's back to back. Um, it's definitely a good thing to have a pit with extra tanks so or just maybe extra guns so players can just keep swapping. Right. But, uh, I mean, that's the down, unfortunate side of paintball to where you need the gear. That's where sponsors come into play. That's why so many players have been thinking, like, CC paintball, Velocity paintball, Gogged paintball. You know, any store that's out there sponsoring players uh, it's super important for anybody looking to play paintball so right. that's why we try and promote sponsors as much as we can Come like common take yeah so I mean if you work for a store or a you know field or whatever get up here and commentate too we uh, we appreciate and respect all the people in paintball right and even if you don't work in a, a paintball store you know not only reach out to those Just people, other businesses little and stuff. Small whatever. mom and pop businesses. I'll try to help them out. You know. Actually, for uh, AFPL, we're getting sponsored by Carvin for Carvin. Uh, new speakers. So we're going to be uh, bumping even louder, more clear music. Oh, okay. It's going to be awesome. Even louder. Carvin, passionate about audio. <laughs> All right, so we got four guns up off there the break for freight the train. Runner. He did not oh, make no. that, but it was a great run. Uh, veterans look like they're down four bodies. There's one guy left. Might be a good time to concede, but it's five on one. Yeah, and there's yeah. the concede. So that's ten to three freight train ten over veteran three. militia, and I believe we're around a minute forty-five, minute thirty left. Minute fifty-two. Minute fifty-two. Like, I was yeah. close. So twenty seconds Round off it. on the clock right there. One fifty-two. Right, so and we're getting out. Yeah. So there's plenty of time left. You can get a ton of buzzer hits. I mean, it only takes five seconds for a buzzer to regenerate. You get your whole team back in. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if uh, veteran militia stacks the buzzer and just, um, you know. Sends those bodies up this mid- at the middle and shoot the edges, you know. Shoot yeah, the, make something the happen. Razor, the little gods, whatever, tacos people call them. They definitely have a chance to come back. Yeah. So, again, nine, no, oh, ten to three. Freight train over veteran militia. Mm-hmm. Ten seconds till the next point. This time we don't have uh, professional players playing, huh? That, that I know of. Eh. I was kind of peeking. Everybody's almost famous out there. <laughs> almost Three guns paintball. off the break. Nice. Freight train getting into snake two. Veteran militia hit the 50 and was trying to get a buzzer. Kind of stumbles. Another player getting in the 50. Good Gets shot out. There's a buzzer from the freight train, and uh, that's two more points. You know that guy's one, one Got the beard going, got so the blocks. That is three points to freight train. That's going to be 13 to three, and that's going to do it. Freight train's going to take that game down. Yeah. I think Militia started coming back and understanding what they were trying to do. They, they did press the middle of the field. They got two players up to the 50 bunker, but unfortunately, one of the players going for the buzzers stumbled. It is paint. It is kind of slick out there. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. And then, uh, yeah, it just, uh, just didn't work out for him. But that was a great match. Great game. Thank you yeah. so much for no joining problem. me. We look forward to seeing Anytime. you in the uh, D5 Thanks. finals. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks, buddy.